So in the last year of her life, my cat Rita had a vomiting problem. Um, she vomited everywhere. She was a tiny little cat, and the amount of vomit that would come out of her made me believe in multiple dimensions of cats that were all vomiting through her. Now, she didn't like to vomit on anything hard. She liked to be on soft surfaces. So she would jump up on the bed or on the couch, and all of that was a little bit difficult to clean up. And you could put her on the floor, on the hardwood floor, when uh, you were home, but I had to go to work. And so I used to put out towels and drop cloths and sheets. And then when I come home from work, it would look like a crime scene <laughs> at a pie eating contest <laughs> that was themed on fish. So there was a lot of laundry involved. She was a lady, though. She would warn you. She had this, this meow. She would go, whoa, 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 blah, you know. <laughs> and she had not only trained me, she trained all my friends and family that if we were, like, having people over to dinner, if you heard, whoa, 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 everybody would get up and run to wherever she was and put her on the floor. <laughs> now, Rita was the first of what I call the uh, indeterminate uh, cat-sitting uh, adoptions, which is if anybody says, could you take care of my cat, but it's for an indeterminate amount of time, you've adopted a cat, right? <laughs> it's now happened to me multiple times, and I fall for it every time. It's like, we just don't know, just a couple of days, and then a long time later, you're like, this is my cat. <laughs> and I got her from a friend of mine who I had never met. Um, this was back in the days... Well, it was back in the days of when the internet was new and it was um, bulletin board system and a, a woman who lived nearby said, my husband, I need to leave him. And he said, if I leave, he'll kill the animals. And so I said, okay, well, I'll take in your cat. And she also had a little dog. Um, and I took care of them for a couple of weeks. And then when she got herself established, she came back and she said, well, I can take the dog, but even though my husband's now in prison, he, he got me pregnant. And I can't clean a cat box because of toxoplasmosis. Uh, pregnant women aren't supposed to uh, clean out cat boxes. And so what I didn't tell her was that I wasn't supposed to be cleaning cat boxes either because I had just been diagnosed with HIV and toxoplasmosis is really bad for people with HIV as well. But she said Rita was a 17-year-old cat. She wasn't going to let, live for very much longer. And at the time, I felt like mm, I might not live very much longer either because my CD4 count wasn't doing so well. And because I'm really a drama queen, I figured we would just sit on the couch. <laughs> the two of us wasting away. And they'd find us because we had died exactly at the same time. So I figured a 17-year-old cat a guy who's probably going to perish. We're, we're probably made for one another. Now, Rita was declawed. Uh, the woman who had her before me didn't declaw her. The woman before her had declawed the cat. But Rita also liked to pretend that she was scratching the furniture, and she'd look at me. And because I'm a good guy, I'd say, stop that. And she'd be like, and she'd walk away. So it made her feel good. It made her feel dangerous. Now, because Rita was 17 years old, she only lasted eight more years. <laughs> she went, th and we went through a lot together. I went through a really hard time. Not only had I gone through HIV with a lot of medications that didn't work out for me, I also had lost my house, I had lost my job, I had lost my car. She was with me the whole time, just pretending to scratch the furniture and throwing up on it. So. <laughs> It worked out really well, but eventually it was her time, and I was in a much better place. And so I did have to make the decision to put her down uh, after reaching 25. I mean, that's 630 in human years I would want to go to. But she did treat, teach me a number of lessons. Um, one is that if anybody ever tells you, can you take my cat for a few days, you own a cat. Um, the second is, if someone wants to feel dangerous, just let them. And the third is if you are going to feel like a badass and throw up, be a lady and warn people about it. Thank you.